Hello and welcome to our new video on Image R. Today, you're going to learn about something really cool, the One Touch button. Let's begin by visiting image-r.com. Upload your image. I'll start with a grayscale one since I intend to engrave it. If you prefer sublimation, select a colored import instead. Next, let's resize the image. In my case, I need it to be 150 millimeters in width and 318 DPI. There we have it, the new One Touch button. Click the drop down arrow to see the steps involved in One Touch. Let's run it with its default settings first. What a difference. I'm amazed by the level of detail and the lighting. However, opinions on the waves in the background may vary. To remove them, simply uncheck the denoise box in the One Touch dropdown. Now all the waves are gone, but it seems a bit too detailed due to the Sharpen 2 option, so let's uncheck that as well. Now it's perfect and will look absolutely beautiful after engraving. Just select an algorithm and burn. Now let's try a colored image. I'll skip the resize this time since I'm using it for sublimation and don't particularly care about the size. However, to enable one touch, we need to resize it anyway. So I'll open the dialog and just press OK. Now let's hit one touch again. As you can see, it looks really cool, but I don't like the gamma adjustment because it lightens the colors too much. Let's untick that. Much better, but I'm not a fan of the cartoonish effect on this image either, so I'll also disable denoise. Looks great, but I think we can also disable sharpen method too, since it adds too many details in my opinion. Now we're talking. That looks absolutely beautiful, interesting, and way more exciting than the original, with barely any effort. I highly recommend getting an Image R license and trying out all the awesome features. You won't regret it, I promise. All links, discount codes, etc. are in the video description. Feel free to ask questions, suggest future video ideas, or just say hi. We appreciate it very much. Have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye.